Alrighty folks, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you guys saw my last video, you were probably directed to this one right here, which is going to be part two of my May 2021 uh, manga unboxing videos. So without further ado guys, not going to waste any time with this. Let's get right in to the remainder of May 2021's manga haul. Always be very careful with sharp objects. Ooh, this is one that I've been looking forward to. So uh, we have the second complete collection. Oh no, got some creases right here and some folds. Little disappointed Barnes and Noble. Anyways, we got the second uh, edition of the orange uh, series, uh, the complete collection, volume two, omnibus two, or however you want to call it. Let's go ahead and show you guys the front, the back, and the side. Now, the first uh, collector's edition of this was really, really intriguing to me. It manages to bounce back from like being super happy to super sad and kind of tragic. And I kind of, I really, really like that. I do love my, I do love a good dose of tragedy. I do love a go good dose of romance. And sometimes when it's balanced with a nice dose of like the tender moments in life, it's just makes for a really good series, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and show you this. And I'll show you just a couple of pages of the artwork. Nothing crazy so as to avoid all spoilers. So that is that. Really eager to continue the series and see how things unfold. Um, I highly recommend Orange. So far, it's been a really, really dear series to my heart. Probably in my maybe top five, top 10. It's a really good series and I recommend you read it. So that's that. Let's move on to the next one. Now this is gonna be an in-store Barnes and Noble pickup and super excited on this one. That's gonna be the third deluxe volume of Berserk. Now, at the time that I picked this up, I believe uh, this was out of stock on Right Stuff. I do think right now it is in stock, so in hindsight, I could have just waited a little bit, but honestly, I really, really just wanted to get it right then and there. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind spending the extra 20 just for just one time, and like over a long period of time, obviously I want to minimize the retail that I pay, but I don't mind once in a while paying retail. So, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and show you the front, the side. Like I said, this is the third deluxe volume and the back. Such a great, but also dark and gory series. It is a dark fantasy. Berserk, highly recommend. And I believe soon, 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 I'm gonna be starting the Golden Age arc, I think it's called. Uh, and I think that's when things really pick up. So super excited for that. And yeah, let's continue on with one more Barnes & Noble pickup before we go ahead and move on to a little Amazon purchase. Well, here's another one I'm excited about. Uh, this is gonna be a nice, a really cool uh, sign-in manga. And Vinland Saga, that's what it's gonna be. Vinland Saga. Say it loud, Vinlin, Vinland, Vinland Saga. The story of Thorfinn or Thorfinn or Thorfinn or however you say it, I haven't watched the anime, so I don't know. Um, this is gonna be book four. Right now I'm only on book one. I think it gets better later on from what I heard. Uh, and I think I heard somewhere that Vinland Saga gets like, it gets like meh at some point, but then it like really picks up after that point again, which is which accounts for like the popularity that it has now, so. I could be wrong, I could be totally wrong. Maybe it's just really great throughout, or maybe it's not even great yet and I just like it for whatever reason. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, super excited to continue reading Vinland Saga. Let me show you just a, a couple of pages of the artwork. I do urge you to be very careful when you do read these because it is a hardback and it kind of makes me nervous whenever I hear like the cracks of like opening the pages and stuff like that. The cracks on the hardback portion of the volume. All right, that's Villain Saga. Super excited to continue reading this. Let's move on to the next title. Oh, this is a sweet one. So this is gonna be the third volume of Made in Abyss. As I mentioned in my previous videos, I really think the world building is, is, is just really phenomenal so far. Uh, the artwork is really good and it's very unique, I would say, for manga. From what I foresee, it is going to be an epic of an adventure. So uh, yeah, guys, Made in Abyss, volume three. Eager to continue Made in Abyss. All right, last one is gonna be a fun one. And that's going to be, how heavy are the dumbbells you lift? 
Now, as you guys know, I'm really into fitness uh, and in time past, I've been really in, into, into bodybuilding as well on a competitive level and just as a lifestyle level as well. Um, and I just kind of wanted to pick this up. I mean, okay. I mean, yeah, I'm a DJ. But that said, it did pique my interest because of the whole fitness thing that it was about. It was like, I think it's, a, I'm pretty sure it's like a comedy as well. And so it seemed like a unique take on manga and blending fitness and manga together, which is I thought was really interesting and intriguing. If there are any other fitness bodybuilding related manga out there, please do give me some recommendations. I don't think there are too many out there. I don't think that many people are interested in it. And I don't know how great of a manga, like a fitness related or bodybuilding related manga could be. Uh, and some people might be turned off by that. Who knows? But regardless, it seemed like a, a pretty lighthearted and fun uh, fitness related series. So I wanted to get into it. So yeah, how heavy are the dumbbells you lift? Can't wait to get started. All right, folks, this is going to be the last pickup for the May 2021 haul. Um, this is an Amazon order. I think this was a pre-order to my knowledge. Let me go ahead and see what is inside. I don't know if I can show you this. All right, I guess I'll show you guys, jeez. Just so you guys know, I do appreciate really, 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 really great and deeper, like thought provoking series and emotionally compelling series as well. Um, that said, I'm also a DJ. And of course, you know, we had to pick up a little bit of high school DXD or high school DD, however you want to call it. And last haul, not sure if you guys saw, but I kickstarted the video with unboxing the first couple of volumes of the uh, high school DXD manga. But after that, I did a little more research on it. And from my understanding, uh, they actually discontinued the manga and it didn't exactly, it was, not, it was not the best telling of the source material. And I think it did diverge a little bit from it. That said, everybody was saying, you know, you just, you, you gotta read, you gotta read the light novel. Like that's what High School DxD is. That's where it's at. That and the anime, of course. I do like the anime. Um, for that type of anime, it's one of the better story-based ones. Not that it's like a great, great story necessarily, but for that type of anime, I think it's one of the better ones. Eager to read this. Obviously, I cannot show you guys what is contained inside. For those of you that, that don't know, this is pretty etchy. I do like a little bit of etchy series here and there. One of the ones I'm reading is like To Love Rue, I think. And it's it's okay so far. And I'm gonna have to read more to see if I really, really like it or not. So yeah, this is the lovely Asya. If you guys have a favorite character from High School DxD, go ahead and comment down below, I think. Oh God, I really like, I do I do like Asya. I do like Rias, of course. Uh, I do like um, Akano. I really, I really like Akano. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video. Yeah. You guys don't wanna, you guys don't wanna hear me go on about High School DxD. Um, I, I assure you guys, I do appreciate other types of uh, manga and anime, so. Uh, yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please do give this video a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more manga related content, anime related content, or more. And just kind of throw it in there. You guys really, really like something like a silent voice, really, really deep thought-provoking and emotionally compelling stories, uh, be it anime or manga, please do go check out my A Silent Voice monologue video. I have titled it, The Anime That Deeply Moved Me. It is something that I worked on for like two weeks, like almost nonstop. It was a, it was very, uh, a very time-consuming project for me. Um, and I put a lot of, I put my heart and soul into that. And it's not like the best crafted video or the best written video essay, but I did put a lot of effort into it and I, Hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll put the link of that in the description below. So yeah, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support and engaging with you guys on the series and more. Uh, manga has been truly inspiring, truly uh, compelling, emotionally uh, captivating, if you will, as well. And it's been almost a life-changing experience getting into manga and anime since, uh, since I started all of this over a year ago. Uh, I have no regrets. I have no regrets on it. I love it and it makes me happy. And I hope it does for you too. Uh, that said guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and leave a comment down below in the comment section if you have any comments or questions. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, you guys know the drill. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Stop.